Yeah, greetings guys. I hope everybody's doing okay. Yeah, sorry for the lack of update, man. It's been a it's been a little crazy time here. You know, a lot of things has happened and uh, you know, but I thank God for life. Uh, I hope everybody's uh, staying safe and uh, doing okay. Um, just here to update, right? Um, it's been uh, quite a while, but uh, so many things has happened, so many programs, so many, you know, things. But I uh, just hope that you enjoy this one and uh, follow up with me on the returns happenings, right? Uh, so just, um, you know, thank you for sticking around and for being there. And I hope you enjoyed this one. See you on the other side. One love. As I used to tell them, if I have enough resources in this country, there will be no terrorism. Because there's no need for that. There will be no banditry. But when one person will amass billions that belong to the country and keep his account, and they're telling us if you, if you say anything against the government, they will arrest you from the altar. Let me see that person that will try it. A curse will be his generation. Oh, yeah, Moroge. Nikenda Moma. Iche ya ne chiche. Nde ni guanara gendoge. How can you intimidate men of God in the whole country? Not to talk. Who are you? Are you born or are you made? Because you are in one political corridor. Messing up with the public fund. Putting the whole country into jeopardy. Prophetic anointing will destroy you. The person that will stop the men of God from speaking what God says are not yet born. And they will never be born. I'm not talking about old Catholics. Men of God, even in the Pentecostal churches, open your mouth and preach. Speak as God orders you. Anybody who tries to attack you from heaven, that person will be destroyed. If the organization comes as a body and as a government to attack men of God, that government will fall. Under prophetic anointing, I speak. Holding my hand on this altar of power. You can't try it. Before you try it, go and ask where Abacha is. Where Yaradua is. Don't try rubbish. God is the owner and giver of power. He can give it, he can take it. If you don't want to be preached against, begin to do good. Why we have terrorists whom they call terrorists and bandits? These are our children who are frustrated. Our graduates who are doing nothing. Our youths who are abandoned and not taken care of. Some criminals call themselves leaders. And they are swallowing the wealth that belongs to everybody. That will be enough for everybody. And these youths are agitating. And the thieves are saying if you talk. You will be arrested. You have no love for the people you are leading. And you may not know what cost means. God will cost you people. Of course, you cannot merchandise real prophetic anointing. you I get you where you go, yeah. Man, I wouldn't get in a bit more way, yeah. Even if you don't want to talk, God will speak through you. How can people who are leading us be sick and they will fly out to foreign country to treat themselves? And in the country, our doctors will not be taken care of. Our doctors will not be well paid. Then they say nobody should talk. Visit our hospitals and see how wretched and how naked they are. We have the best doctors in the whole world, Nigeria. We have the best brains. 
But they are not taken care of. Because they are not politicians. Nigeria, where politics have become a business, not even a business. Politics is turning into terrorism. Arrest us. Let them come and arrest. Because we allowed you people to be messing up. Anybody who has been traveling from 82 division here to Ugoyama, if you have not tried it, move. Because there are people who move from there to there every day. How would they interpret in Nigeria? Because you are flying from one airport to another airport. Do you know what we suffer? To buy one penter of Gary today is a wahala. As a naira is dwindling and collapsing in value. Salaries of our people are static. People are suffering. And those who call themselves politicians are getting richer from our common wealth. Not from their own sweat. And men of God should not talk. Men of God, we should choose one. Either to obey God or man. Because judgment of God will start from the pulpit. We better protect the souls handed over to us. If they want to rest, let them try. Time has come when some of them will sleep in the night and wake up blind. Some will wake up deaf. Some wake up lame. Some of them will even die if they want to attack the men of God under Elijah's anointing and Elisha's anointing. Under Davidic anointing, I cannot be alive and see my fellow men of God being harassed and intimidated. Never. We have the anointing. <laughs>